and what okay. are some ways we can take to improve this, you know? Okay. For sure, for sure. And now, firstly, can I ask you, like, what is the main thing you do as your profession as a soil scientist? Pardon? You know, actually, you know that... Uh, what is the main... <laughs> so, yeah. you know that uh, soil health is very important. Yes, yeah, very important. Because uh, if you if your soil health is bad, then we are not getting mm. the higher crop production. For so sure, yeah. soil fertility or the the crop productivity depend upon soil health. Mm. You know that uh, in soil health there are different parameters: physical, yes, then uh, chemical, then biological. So all the three components are required for the soil health. Mm. And uh, you know that how you can find out the, uh, suppose uh, we are, we are uh, approached to the doctor, then doctor measure our the blood taste, then urine taste, then stool taste, then uh, hearts, everything. So similarly, yeah. in soil, for soil health parameters, there is a measurement of the organic carbon, then soil pH, mm. then uh, electric conductivity, then organic carbon, then major nutrient, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, secondary nutrient, mm. calcium, magnesium, sulfur, then yeah. micronutrient, zinc, Fe, Mn, copper, etc. Sure. So, because I can understand, because obviously, uh, yeah, sorry about that, but like, yeah. I was thinking, obviously, because soil would be massive for you in India as well, because because down there, cricket is like so massive and they heavily rely on perfect grounds and everything, I okay. expect. So, wouldn't, wouldn't you think that's the case down there? Actually, you know that uh, globally, at present, what happened? Yeah. The farmers are using the huge quantity of the chemical fertilizers. Yeah. Then pesticide and fungicide and weedicide. So, mm. we have killed the microorganisms. Hmm. So, you know that uh, before 50 years, we require the food for the increasing population of the world. Hmm. So, all the farmers have used huge quantity of the chemical fertilizer, pesticide, fungicide. So, we have killed the earthworm and microorganism. And, yeah. uh, you, and you know that uh, the role of the microorganism so whatever the nutrient present in soil, that nutrients yeah. make available with the help of the microorganism. Yeah. So you're saying that, that that chemical there is what kills all the crops with, within yes. the soil? Or? Yeah. yeah. So, so at present, you know that soil is a upper crust of the earth. It is a dynamic living body. But at present, mm -hmm. the soil is dead. It is not live thing because we have killed the microorganism and our crop. Yes, for sure. I remember. I remember. Patel, can I ask you just real quick? Yeah, oh, no, okay. sorry. Uh, oh, can I, I ask you real quick? Can I just, for my sake, record this meeting as well, just so I can share this and re reflect on this and write write a document on it? Is that all good? Okay. Pardon. Thank you, Patel. I just got to. I'm sending you a request just to record as well, so I can so I can write some notes on this. Okay. You know that uh, at present the crop productivity has been declined of the soil yeah. because uh, we have killed the microorganism. So globally, mm. you know that uh, the scientists, soil scientists and others have started mm. the organic farming, then natural farming in India, then regenerative agriculture. Regenerative yeah. agriculture means we have to develop the soil we have before 50 years. Mm. Therefore, we should not have to apply chemical fertilizers, but we should have to apply the organic manures, mm. then crop residue, yeah. then cover crop, then crop rotation, then uh, biodiversity, mm -hmm. then forestry, then animal component. Then and then our soil fertility will be improved. And we are getting yeah. the we, we can improve the crop productivity, soil productivity, and we can supply the food for ever increasing population of the world. You know that mm. at present in India, 
the population is about 140 crores. Wow. 140 crores. Wow. So, so you know that we are the highest in the world. What previously China is first, but at present the India is first. So mm. you know that uh, our prime minister at present is uh, Narendra Modi. So now they have switched over the organic farming and natural farming. Yeah. Now Patel, can I ask you, as a being a soil scientist yourself? Okay. Why? Why did you? Why did you want to become a soil scientist? What What motivated you to 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 become a more soil scientist? Actually, you know that uh, in soil scientist, uh, you know that uh, the for the higher crop production, soil fertility is mm -hmm. very very important. And uh, yeah. another then another thing you remember that uh, in India, uh, you know that uh, mm -hmm. I told that uh, we have the one hundred forty crores population. So we are yeah. growing. We are growing the crop in uh, monsoon season, rainy season, then winter mm -hmm. season, then summer yeah. season. So we are yeah. taking the continuous crop in a soil in mm -hmm. twelve months. We are not so giving you... the. We are not giving yeah. the rest to the soil. So obviously, yeah. there will be more crops continuously. So more uptake of the nutrients from the soil. Mm -hmm. So, at so is that your main motivation? Sorry, uh -huh. was, was that like your main motivation to, you know, um, to help India through like productivity and research soil to figure out how, what is the best way and the best seasons that we there is to to grow crops and therefore, and like help people? Is that was that was that what you're saying, Sri Kevin? Pardon? Would you say like the main motivation for you was to to help productivity throughout your yes. area? Because because soil is so important, obviously. Because like okay. let's be honest, everywhere we go, soil is used. Like in the, in the backyard, at, at like sporting grounds, everywhere soil is so important. And that's why I feel like because I when listening to you, I think it's just so impressive how you really wanted to increase productivity and around your area for to increase like the growing of crops and everything. Because you said when that um that chemical was healing all the soil yes. i love how that mm -hmm. you how you said that you wanted to fix that that's what's amazing so in my opinion you know that uh, we have to add more organic manure before mm -hmm. before sowing of the crop we should yeah. have carried out the soil analysis you know that soil analysis is the first step for soil fertility management yeah so first you yeah. you know the initial status of the soil which are mm. lacking in soil, so you for that you have to carry out the chemical analysis. Yeah. First, first we have to find out what is the soil health. It is a poor, mm. medium, and high. So when the soil mm. health is poor or medium, then we can whatever the nutrients are deficient in soil, that nutrient we have add in soil. And my mm. advice is that uh, you don't add the chemical fertilizer, but you can yeah. add the nutrient through the organic manures. Yeah, because so we the have fertilizer FDA, just kills uh, it. Yeah, because we have experienced that uh, excessive use of the chemical fertilizers. Mm. There will be, there will be the uh, unavailability of the nutrients to the plant, although it is present, but it is not available to the plants. So, mm. we should, that, therefore, we should have to add more micro. You know that uh, at present, you know that uh, at present, the government of India and other state country also recommended to mm. add the biofertilizer in soil. Yeah. Because the once the we have killed, just... uh, because we have killed 50 years back and now we have advice to the farmer, you can add azotobacter, then azosprelium, then phosphate solubile bacteria, and potassium, mm. and rhizobium. So you know that uh, when you are adding the biofertilizer, then it can increase uh, the 25 percent mm. it can save the 25 percent nitrogen and there is no mm. need to add the chemical fertilizers then yeah uh, for sure then another thing in organic farming and natural farming there are the principle that cover cropping don't mm. keep the soil naked one you cover the soil if you cover the soil then there will be less chances of the soil erosion then mm. there is no direct sunlight on the earth so microorganism can be survived for a longer period. Mm. Then crop rotation. Yeah. Then crop rotation yeah, crop means, rotation. Crop rotation means don't grow 
the cereal crop after cereal, but you can take mm -hmm. the pulses, the legume, and oil seed. So that crops sure. can be fixed nitrogen from the atmosphere and then can they can add nitrogen in soil. So we require more uh, less chemical fertilizer in soil. So there is a recycling yeah. of the nutrient is very, very important. Exactly. Then, and uh, yeah, like you said. Uh, then yeah. mulching is required. Mulching. Mm -hmm. You cover the soil with mulch. Either you use plastic mulch or grasses. Yeah. I think that uh, you are from the uh, Queensland. Correct. Yeah, Queensland, because we use so, a lot of um. So you know that uh, I have carried out the research and I have served for twenty five yeah. years in uh, all India corn research project in forage crops. So at that time, wow, I was heard that in Queensland there is a more pasture land and they are growing the lucerne and other mm -hmm. grasses. So I remember yeah. that thing. So Queensland, but I remember at present that uh, that the land has been converted into the cultivated crop like sugarcane and other crops. Correct? Yes, correct. Okay, because uh, now can I? I uh, oh, sorry, but. Can I ask you, Ashi Patel, importantly, because you were just talking about how in India, how the fertilizer, the biofertilizer kills the soil. Yes. Would you say that is probably like the hardest challenge you've encountered as a soil scientist or are there other challenges that have really pushed you in your profession? So, you know, that uh, there is a, one of the challenges in the uh, soil that, uh, you know, that uh, previously, 50 years back, we are using the bullock drawn plow cultivation. Yeah. But at present, we are using the tractors. So what happened? The soil mm. become hard, compact. Yeah, compact. So when what is what is the bad effect of the compact soil? You know that when there is a compact soil, then poor aeration. So poor aeration. So you know get you know that uh, the plant root go in soil. So yeah. the, when there when there is a poor aeration, then mm -hmm. the growth of the root is poor. So when the growth of the root is poor, then there will be less uptake of the nutrient and is supply to the plant. So okay. the research told that loose soil require for the higher crop production. So you know that the root is very important. If the root growth yeah. is better, then more biomass of the roots and it extract nutrient because in the soil, the nutrients are present, but due to less growth of the root, plant will cannot take up the nutrient from the soil. So root is very mm. important. So you require the loose soil. So don't loose make soil. the soil hard. So you know that at present, zero tillage is required or minimum tillage, minimum disturbance of the soil. So we can multiply the microorganism in soil. Because you know that microorganism mm. also require the aeration. Human being require the aeration similarly. Microorganisms require aeration, the root also require mm. the aeration, but we make the soil hard. Continuous yeah. cult cultivation using the tractor. And you know that in government of India gave the subsidy yeah. to the farmers. So the people are purchasing, farmers are purchasing the tractor and they are cultivating the tractor on the land and they make the hard. Then you know that, that when the... uh, then uh, you know no, that, sorry, sorry, you keep going. Okay. Sorry. So what happened? Suppose you cultivating mm -hmm. the land, then uh, there is a rain, rainfall or wind, then there is a erosion of the soil. You know that mm -hmm. erosion means detachment yeah. of the soil particle from one place to another. So you know that in soil, there are three mm -hmm. major soil fragments. One is a sand, okay. then sand, second yeah. is seal, and another is clay. So among three, mm -hmm. clay particle is active one. Sand is hmm. the inert matter. Silt is the intermediate. So those soil, we have more clay particles, more than 60%, it is a fertile soil. Hmm. And suppose the soil has the 90% sand, then that soil is poor in soil. Yeah. So no, you know that uh, in, in, in India, the term is black cotton soil. Means black cotton soil means it is a very hard, fertile soil. And we can grow the They're very compact. That's a very compact. It is fertile, compact, that is true, but it is very yeah. fertile. We are fertile. You know that a sandy soil is a very poor in fertility. Mm. You can grow the crops. And another thing, 
Suppose you grow the sand crop in a sandy soil. So you cannot grow the sugarcane in sandy soil because it requires the frequent irrigation water. So drainage, uh, retention, water holding capacity of the sandy soil is very poor. Whereas mm. the clay or black soil has the higher water holding capacity. And moreover, black soil have higher cation exchange capacity and anion exchange capacity. So it is exchange the positive ion and negative ion. Whereas the sandy soil is poor in fertility. So it has low cation exchange capacity and low anion exchange capacity. So mm -hmm. you know that the, the black soil uh, form from the rich parent material. You know that soil form from the rocks and minerals through weathering, physical weathering, yeah. chemical weathering, and biological weathering. And it requires rows of years. And actually, yeah. you know that the soil, our earth is separated from the sun before rows of years. So slowly mm -hmm. and slowly it will cool down and we are growing the crop on upper crust of the land. So there are different horizons. O horizon means organic horizon, then A horizon, then B horizon, and C horizon. Mm -hmm. So for the agriculture point of view, we have more concern with O horizon and A horizon. But for the construction yeah. point of view, B horizon is also important because they have to make the pillar and they have to construct mm -hmm. the land. So for engineering purpose, the compact land is required. For agricultural purpose, we require the loose soil. We do not require the hard or compact soil. Otherwise, yeah. we are getting a low crop production. Yeah. Perfect. Now, Patel, can I ask you as well? So you just recapped all that about the compacted and, okay. and co how compacted soil and soft soil have a massive okay. impact on the growing of crops. Okay. Can I ask you, however, like what we're focusing uh, on in my university course yeah. is developing a product that can help soil and be beneficial to, to the consumer while also being profitable. Do you have like any ideas around what we could do with soil to give to the consumer, however, also have like a also a, maybe a profitable outcome as well. Do you know any ideas that are being developed at the moment? Pardon, I can't understand what you say. <laughs> Sorry, okay. So I was just saying, like, what do you what do you think that today in society, what can we do to better protect soil? Benefit of the soil. What, what, yeah. Actually, you know that we should have the make the soil sustainable. You know that. The yeah. world population increasing every year. So mm. we, we should have to make the soil sustainable means we are getting mm. the crop production throughout the year. But in so chemical fertilization, uh, yeah. in chemical fertilization, what happened? Suppose uh, we are adding, suppose uh, we, we are carried out the soil analysis, then uh, we can add, mm. and suppose uh, zinc is deficient, nitrogen deficient, then we can uh, supply the nutrient to the mm. chemical fertilizer, either urea, ammonium sulfate, or zinc sulfate, or iron sulfate. But in organic farming and in natural farming or regenerative agriculture, it is recent in 2000, uh, after 2010, 2020, they suggested that don't uh, add the chemical fertilizer, but you can mm. use the crop residue management. Suppose you take the yeah. wage crop, so you harvest the grain. Then whatever the stover of the crop that can be incorporated in the soil. Mm. So that for stover also the having the nutrient. So that nutrient mm. we can add in soil. So the recycling of the nutrient is very, very important. Mm. Previously, what happened? The farmers are buried the straw. You know that in Gujarat, in India, uh, in uh, Uttar, Uttar Pradesh, then Punjab and Haryana. After rice, they buried the rice crop. Resulted mm -hmm. in there is a pollution in Delhi. They have the problem. So you, mm -hmm. you might have read that they have started. In one day, you use the old vehicle. And second day, you use the even vehicle. Because there is a pollution. Mm -hmm. So, but there is no solution. You know that why the people, farmers are, they buried the... Uh, paddy straw because 
they immediately want to grow the wheat crops because the crop rotation yeah. is they are growing rice and wheat rice and wheat and tallow so there is no option suppose i advise that uh, crop residue management but suppose they make the crop residue of the rice in soil then it require yeah. about one of one month or two months for decomposition so they wait for the decomposition of the rice straw mm. then wait season has been over and they are getting death from mm. so they are not bother yeah. or they so they are buried immediately they buried and cultivating the land and then grow the wheat crops you know that mm. rice the punjab and haryana is the bound of rice and wheat maximum crop yeah. so you know that they are they are producing the 5000 6000 kg per hectare in mm. 2.5 hectare hectare means 2.5 hectare so they are the hard worker and you know you, know, you, you, you might have heard that the punjabi peoples has been gone mm. to the canada and they cultivate the land and they have 5000 acre land 10000 acre land they are hard worker mm. so yes, at present at present the dominant peoples in punjab are in mm. canada so they are punjabi the yeah. punjab, the canada people told that the prosperity of the canada is only due to punjabi <laughs> because they are hard work 